Man, whoever said you can't do a good workout in 30 minutes is dead wrong. It's Sunday afternoon and the gym is only open until four. So at three o'clock, I had to make a decision. Am I gonna just skip the gym or am I gonna take that effort and just go to that gym and even if I have 30 minutes left, give it my all and get a good workout in? Well, I did the latter and if you work out and you take minimum breaks and you work with full intensity, 30 minutes can be killer, man. It definitely can be. So I'm glad I did that because I've been telling you guys that lately my workouts have not been up to par. I've not been watching my food and I just haven't worked out enough. And for some of you, this might not be interesting at all. You just want to hear me talk about DJing. But I have to be honest, when it comes to these daily vlogs, I make these so I can just share anything. And of course, most of it is gonna be DJ and music related because that is what I do. And besides family life, music is everything. So there will always be a lot of musical content, DJ content in these videos. I also have some reviews and stuff like that, overviews coming up when I get the chance to do stuff like that and give my opinion, especially when it comes to music and DJing. But sometimes it's also good to talk about other things because it doesn't matter what you do, we all deal with uh, certain things and your health is one of those things and it doesn't matter if you're an accountant or if you're still in school, um, health is always going to be an important issue. And especially if you're living a lifestyle that's not that regular, so you don't wake up the same time every day, or at least you don't go to bed every time at the, every day at the same time, uh, your job hours are different. It can affect your healthy lifestyle unless you fully commit to getting it done. And I've been trying to do that for the last couple of years, sometimes more intense than another time, but lately, I just I've been slipping. And I'm not that unhealthy when it comes to eating, but I did get too many sugars in and not enough water, stuff like that. Um, eating too much of food that I shouldn't eat too much of. So starting now, I'm regulating it again. And the best thing to do if you wanna regulate your intake is to measure it. And that means that you have to put it on a scale and you have to track it. I use my fitness pal, it's an app for your phone and you can just log in everything you eat and drink because sometimes that is the only way you're going to get a clear view of what you're actually getting in because a lot of people just guess the guessing game isn't the right game to play if it's your health now if you're an athlete and you've been weighing and tracking for years you get the hang of it and then it becomes second nature and you'll be able to guess but for me personally long, logging it all into my fitness pal is the best way to keep track and then I can see if I'm not making enough progress, what do I need to change? Do I need to change my carb intake, uh, just my calories altogether? So if this does not interest you, you probably already clicked and ended the video, but it could be interesting. If you're still young, health is less of an issue in your mind, but starting now will be beneficial in the long run. You don't wanna be in your 30s and 40s and start to feel like you're 60 because you never took care of your health. So that's what I'm trying to do. When I reach 60, I want to be in top shape. So I uh, also wanted to talk about something else. And again, this relates to everyone. It doesn't matter what you do. And that's balancing, balancing your career and family life. As you can tell from watching my videos, um, I spend a lot of time as a family man. That's because my job allows me to regulate my hours and work on different hours. If you're working a nine to five, you always have to work from nine to five. There's nothing you can do to change that. If you work at an office, you have flexible hours that gives you more options. And in my case, I make my own hours. So I can choose to spend the daytime doing stuff and doing my DJ stuff later in the day or at night. But that comes with a sacrifice. And most of the time that sacrifice will be sleep and sleep is also important when it comes to health so i have to watch that as well i can't just be like every day i'll do family stuff and other stuff until nine or ten and then i'll do dj stuff until four in the morning and wake up again at six to do family stuff so luckily me and my girl are able to take care of um 
really regulating those hours. We have two grandmas helping out, so that allows us to do more. And I've said this before, I have a lot of respect for single parents or even parents who have to do it without any help. So just mom and dad, or just the dad, just the mom. I couldn't imagine doing this without help. But even with help, it is still um, something that takes a lot of effort to get it right. And I'm still working on getting it right. Time management, to me, is the most important thing. Because if you don't manage your time well and you set your priorities, it's going to be really hard to combine all of those things. So that is a constant goal for me to improve my time management and um, prioritize stuff. I'm one of those people who likes to do a lot of different things. So I end up doing a thousand things and everything gets done just a little bit when it would be a lot better to set your goals, even make a list, but just to set your goals and work them one by one, or at least not too many at the same time. So that is something I try to do now. I learned to say no. I used to say yes to everything. So people would come to me with projects, free projects. You wanna do scratches for this track. And I would always be like, yeah, because I love doing stuff like that, but I wanna do it right. So it ends up taking a lot of time, time that I don't really have, uh, that became too stressful. So now I learned to say no, or it has to be a real job and I have to get paid for it because that way I can actually justify spending the time on that. So that is something that is, um, I'm learning constantly. Now I'm doing these vlogs. These vlogs also take up time, but then again, I need to learn to take advantage of vlogging while I'm doing certain things. So it actually is not just more, a lot more than turning on the camera while I'm doing something that I was already doing. Uh, getting it on camera and then I have footage for my vlog. Now this what I'm doing right now This is gonna take 10-15 minutes out of my time. The gym is right there in the back below the station Just did my workout got that in now I'm taking this 10-15 minutes to shoot this video and then I have content for my vlog and I keep it moving so that works now I'm going home and I hope that I have some time to spend with my girl and the kids they're at home right now. She's actually cutting their hair right now. She's our in-house barber. She does her hair and their hair. Of course, I do my own. And see if we can at least spend a couple more hours on this Sunday because it is getting late. And then I get back to work. I edit another video and I try to get all my work done so I can go to bed on time because tomorrow that uh, alarm goes off at 6.15. That's just what it is. So let me know how you manage your time if you're doing a lot of different things how do you keep it all in check and how do you get all your things done do you have a special method for that i'm curious to know and you might be able to help other people out as well because like i said this is not a dj thing this is not a music thing this is an everything thing if you are working on a career and you're trying to really get somewhere that's going to take up a lot of your time and if you have a family you still want to spend time with your family as well so combining that can be the trick. So let me know what you do to combine all the things in your life. I remember one more anecdote, like I used to play basketball. I started playing basketball when I was 10 years old and I did that for about 10 years. And for Dutch standards, I was pretty okay. And my last year I played on the highest level that we have here in the Netherlands. So that included uh, four, four uh, training sessions a week and a game. And during that time, I was already DJing, starting my DJ career in clubs as well. And I was still in school. So that was too much. So I had to make a conscious decision then and there. What am I gonna do? I couldn't just stop school. So that was not an option. I had to at least finish that. So basketball and music, which one would I drop? I chose the bigger love, even though I love basketball and I love playing basketball, I chose music and I had to let basketball go. And that was painful at first. Those first few games when I came to watch my old team play, I was sitting in the bleachers watching uh, and it hurt. It really hurt to see the team play and not be a part of that anymore. But I'm glad I chose music. Not just because I really love music, but also career-wise, I know for a fact that I got a lot further with music than I probably would have gotten with basketball. So, still play from time to time. Uh, with people who used to play as well. Sometimes we just play somewhere on a court or uh, in a gym. But I'm glad I chose music. And now I have a family and I don't want to 
lose any of those so I make sure that I get my stuff straight so I can make everything work out that's gonna be today's vlog so hope you liked it also if you're watching these videos and you're not happy with the vlogs or you don't feel that they fit what you like to see let me know but let me know why that also helps me out to see where I take the content on DJTLM TV but for the most part I'm getting great great feedback from you guys and you seem to like these little insights I'm giving you so in my eyes I will definitely continue to do this for uh, a long time all right guys time to get back on that bike get that cardio in and go home peace